Mom's Kitchen. I'm going to do a really uh, quick video for you guys today. My version of toasted or roasted garbanzos. I love them. I love them so much. Nick hates them. I, they, he just made the funniest face. Of course, you guys can't see it because he's on the other side of the camera. But he like literally made the shit sandwich face. Oh, sorry. I swore. Okay, so in my pan, getting hot, I just have some melted butter. Okay. And my arm itched, my bad. That's okay. I some garbanzos. I drained them. I'm going to use two cans because I love them. So I drained them and I'm just sticking them in this container. I'll show you. Oops. I'll show you why. So my butter is buttering. Nick, we got to turn this down just a little bit. Did I do it the right way? Nope. Wrong okay. way. This way? Yep. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Put them in here. We're going to use a little teeny bit of avocado oil, like a drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Okay. Look, we found a really big one, you guys. I'm so excited about that. You can hear the cat just I know. screaming just in the background. She's just yelling. No, the dog's messing with her. Oh, salt. You know me, if you've been watching my videos, I am a huge fan of Himalayan pink salt. I'm going to use some garlic pepper. I cannot believe you can hear her just yelling at the dog. Well, the dog's messing with her, so it's... Some dried onion. You could use onion powder if you want. Sound is just... No. No. Absolutely not. I think that's a little bit too much onion. It's not. You're not eating them. What do you care? And some salt-free seasoning. You can also use Italian seasoning if you'd like. I like this one. It's pretty much got everything I need in it. Go yell at her, please. And some Parmesan. This is Jim got flaked. I probably not going to work so well. I should just get the regular Parmesan. This is the, it's really good cheese, but it's not going to work for what I want. It'll work for eating later, though. Yeah, it will. Do we have any regular craft? It, it won't go to waste in this house, that's awesome, for sure. thank you. This is better. God bless Jim. He does all my food shopping. Nick does too, but Jim does most of it. And I asked for good Parmesan, and that's what he brought me, but I wasn't specific. This works better. Put the lid on. You could use a bag, too, but... bag would be quieter. No. I am driving Nick crazy with this video. Yep. Okay. The bag would be quieter. Shush. Do not like that, dog. Probably a little too much for this pan, but that's all right. It actually fits perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it worked out really well. Some of your um, seasoning might stick a little bit. You can always add more while they're roasting. This just gets everybody coated pretty evenly. So you don't get like one plain garbanzo and one that's got so much garlic that it makes your eyeballs pop out. Or it gives you heartburn. So if you guys have made these, there's a couple of recipes. I know, um, I think it's Valerie Bertinelli, actually, that does one with, um, like, red pepper flakes and, and I don't know if it's cayenne or something. She, or, oh, paprika. That's what it is, paprika. Um, I think, I think it's her recipe. 
I happen to like them this way. A little Parmesan cheese. The cheese starts to get toasty and it gets like a crispy outside. And this is, once they're like a little bit crispy, they're a great snack like an appetizer. And they're amazing in salads, right? I mean, they're like, I mean, I eat them just plain out of the bowl, like just like, like a snack. But they're really, really good. It's because you're weird. I'm not weird. You're weird for not liking them. How am I weird for not liking them? You don't like any beans at all. Beans are good for you. So are jalapenos. Yeah, no, not so much. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you getting a good close up of what's going on here? Yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to add just a little bit more cheese. Actually, well lighted. <laughs> Yeah, we've got better lighting now. That makes me giggle. And like I said, the cheese is what kind of gives them a crispy texture. Because you know what happens when you toast cheese. And for people that don't know what happens when you toast cheese... It, it gets crispy. Even though you would have to be under a rock? No, no, that's not true. I mean, some people maybe don't eat cheese or don't like cheese, so how would they know? Right? Who doesn't? Uh, what? Well, well, how about lactose intolerant people? There's lactose free cheese. <laughs> well, maybe it, lactose free cheese doesn't get crispy in the pan. How do you know? I don't know. I'm just guessing. My um, my goddaughter, who's she's turned 37, a little scary. She's doing keto, and she did. Um, it was really kind of cool. It's about to say which one. <laughs> you know, I've, got, I've got Sarah Nicole. She's doing keto and she did the, she put the cheese on the baking pan and stuck it in the oven and it got all bubbly and crispy and she uses that as like dipping chips instead of regular chips for her keto diet. So that's a really good example of what cheese does when it gets Depending crispy. on the cheese, it'd be really greasy. Okay, can you smell the garlic? Can you smell the garlic? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we're just going to let these toast up a little bit when you start seeing well you can see it I'm trying to find a spot where they're starting so you guys can see they'll like split open won't they no they don't split open they just start to get like a little a little like crust sort of on them they get a little darker they get a little crust and that's when you want to turn your heat off I do see some uh, like through the camera good that are darker? Good, okay. You can see them like right here, if you focus right here. You see the little crust you're getting on them? That's what you want? That's what you want. And then you want to turn your heat off or down because you can overcook these and Ooh. end up with marbles. Little, hard, nasty, yucky marbles. Kidney stones. <laughs> Nick said kidney stones. Kidney stones. Yeah, uh, you know, pretty much. You don't want that. No. Because then, yeah. <laughs> you definitely I mean, don't want kidney stones. Or you don't want hard garbanzos. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me find another little, little piece for you. If you look right in there, you can start to see that they're getting a little, just a little darker, just a little crust on them. And that's what you want. It, if you're doing them in a pan, it doesn't take long at all. If you're doing them in the oven, it doesn't take long either. But again, watch your time because you really could end up with... Kidney in, stones. Yeah, kidney stones. <laughs> with inedible food. They get rock hard and icky and I've done that. So I've it's preferable about them. You, to do this in like a pan so you can wash them. Closer. It really is. I mean, it, it really is. Like I said, it takes only about 10 minutes or so and then you're kind of done. I so, stand up. yeah, we'll go over it one more quick time. This is what I do. Parmesan cheese, main ingredient. Garlic pepper, salt, onion. I like this salt-free seasoning. And actually, I just ordered from another company to try theirs. 
but you can also use Italian seasoning if you like a little bit more of an oregano basil flavor. It works really well and I do that often also. So that's pretty much it. Don't overcook your garbanzos, you'll end up with kidney stones. <laughs> For food, not in your body. Let's clarify, garbanzos do not cause you to have kidney stones. How do you know? Oh Nick, oh my God, <laughs> that's it. I can't take my kidney more. So I am going to uh, sign off and eat these garbanzos because I have to have them now. And until our next video, be blessed.